cute internet friends. <laughs> I don't know if you're little, I don't. I'm losing my mind here in quarantine. And welcome back to my channel. So this is not exactly how I intended this video to go, but I figured I wanted to bring you guys some entertainment and I have been holding on to this footage for a while now, waiting for the perfect time to release it. And I feel like there's no better time but now, while we're all sitting at home in our pajamas. I put on overalls today and I feel like a real winner. That's right, today I'm going to share with you my official first experience of going and trying on wedding dresses. Oh my god, I just realized I'm not wearing my engagement ring, which is like so sacrilegious uh, to this video. L let me go get it. Okay, we're back. If you have been on my channel for a while, you know that I have been doing at-home wedding dress try-on videos, and I'll leave a link to all the wedding stuff below, and it's been really fun. But I was dying to go in store to try on the dress with my mom there, my cousin there. I wanted to do the whole experience in hopes of finding the one. So I had been researching online and trying to figure out what store I wanted to go to and what kind of fit my vibe. So after searching high and low, I came to the conclusion that the company that seems to be the most fitting for me and has the styles that I think I'm looking for is Beholden, which is a wedding dress section within Anthropology. It's not available in all the Anthropology stores, but it's available online and I will leave the link to that below. Regardless, I feel like I kept coming back to their dresses when searching online and so I reached out to them and they were beyond kind. They got back to me right away, first of all, which like customer service. And this, like I said, was my very first time. I wasn't that girl that like had the dream of trying on wedding dresses or like had the dream of all of this really. But um, I have to say it was a pretty dreamy experience and I'm excited to take you on the journey. Oh, one note before we dive in, the store had great music playing the whole time, but obviously I can't have that here um, otherwise YouTube will be very angry at me so yeah let's just take it back to when things were a little bit easier and we were able to go to the mall um, and get this wedding dress party started okay we're here at Beholden and I am already emotional and already overwhelmed and really excited so before I entered the store I obviously stocked all the dresses online and I sent links to my friends who then gave me their top picks of what they thought would be good for me and I made this like full list of all the dresses that I really wanted to try on and they picked out six of those dresses for me to kind of get started because honestly it's a really overwhelming process I was given a dress I want to call her a dress fairy. She took care of me the whole time and she was lovely and amazing and made the experience so much more pleasant for me. Not to mention she hooked us up with a canned champagne which I wish I had some now. So anyway, she had six of the dresses lined up. Like I had been looking at them online for so long, so it was like kind of this magical moment where I got to actually meet them in person. I had been drawn to this one dress. It was part of their new spring collection. It's the one that I like definitely kept going back to, and so I decided to try it on first. You're not gonna be able to actually see this first dress because I think it's the one that I'm ultimately going to choose. But you'll see as the journey goes along that I ended up picking a different dress, but then I couldn't stop thinking about this first dress. It's a very complicated experience. So this first dress I put on, it was one of those things that it was like, yeah, this is obviously my dress. Oh! Oh! See, that's, that already when I saw see, that, I'm like, that's I my already, thing. I, I, know, just, I just so said that. And done. <laughs> And I felt like there must be another one out there because like this was too easy. But needless to say, we decided to continue on and keep trying on the dresses because it couldn't have been that easy, right? Nothing is that easy, right? Okay, next up was this gorgeous dress that my best friend Randy had seen online. It was like, oh, that's the one. I'm obsessed with her. And I gotta say, I put it on and I kind of knew right away that it wasn't exactly the one for me, which I guess is a good sign. I was having trouble picking like, yes, this is the one for me, but I definitely didn't have trouble saying, no, this isn't the one for me. It just wasn't exactly for me. But the cool thing about it is that it had these beautiful sleeves, which were similar to a sleeve that I've shown in other videos that I liked, but they came off, which was pretty cool. Oh, that option. Wait, wait. Which was something kind of fun about that to have like a sleeve for the ceremony and then you could take it off for like the party after. I guess looking back, it just wasn't like wholeheartedly my style, although I do have to say I think my boobs looked really good. <laughs> 
Like oh no! It's overwhelming. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. Yes, they're really tough. they're so different, and they're yeah. both just so beautiful yeah. and so elegant. Anyways, it was definitely nice to try on a style like this just to make sure, but I knew right away that this was not for me. Oh yes, this next one. I loved this next one. This is one of those ones that I like kept coming back to when I was on the website. I will say it was not as like fancy as I thought it would be once I put it on. It kind of looked like lingerie, like a bustier kind of thing, but it was so, so pretty and I kind of like loved it. When I loved the sash on this one. I thought it was brown online, but in person it was more like, like a pretty rose pink, I guess. I don't really have anything like negative to say about this dress. It was so pretty and I felt really nice in it. It just wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I don't know if it was not dressy enough. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. It was just one of those things. Like, like I said, I keep having these gut instincts about what I didn't like. I just was having a hard time saying like what I did like. Oh yes, this next dress. Okay, my mom loved this. There's a picture of my mom with her like jaw dropped, which I think is in my Instagram uh, stories. If you haven't had it over there, make sure you check out my Instagram. I knew right away that I didn't like this dress, but online, oh my God, on the models. Ooh, I mean, all dresses look good on models, but like this dress looked so good. And I guess this is kind of like their Instagram famous dress. Like you've probably seen a lot of dresses similar to this. The style itself is like so beautiful. It feels a little Grecian to me. It's like sexy, but feminine. The whole thing is great. I just personally on my body didn't feel super comfortable. I felt like super broad. I felt kind of exposed. I also learned quickly that I didn't really love um, the dresses that had the more or nude neutral color underneath. I don't think it looks great on my skin tone since I'm so fair, I kind of feel like it washes me out. And I have to say, I haven't said this yet, their price points are pretty, pretty good. Like for a beautiful dress, their price points are super reasonable. I think most of their dresses range anywhere from I want to say 600 to high 2000s. Maybe there's a few that go over and a few that go under and they often seem to have sales. But in general, compared to other places whose quality are on similar like levels, like this is a great price point. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so after I had tried on all those dresses, I was like, you know what? There was one hanging up at the front that wasn't in my like line of six that I would really like to try on. It just looked really pretty on the hanger and I was curious to know if it looked good on me. And let me just say, the minute I put it on, I was like, yeah, no, this is certainly not for me. Not to say it wasn't a great dress, but it, it was so like blingy and shiny and like, maybe it would have been perfect for like a Las Vegas wedding, but like definitely not for me. Ironically, my cousin was like, yes, girl, yes, that is the one. But like, she likes blingy stuff, certainly not my style. It also had that nude like undertone underneath it. So it was sparkly and it washed me out and I don't think it was super flattering on me. The whole thing, not my style, but if it's your style, it's a great dress. Great dress, <laughs> just not for me. Oh, this next dress. Okay, now when I like look back at the pictures, I'm like, wait a second, was this the one? This is my problem. This dress is so gorgeous. The thing is, when I put it on, the lady that was helping me was like, yeah, this is just like a very mature dress. And it did in fact feel like it aged me a little bit. But now that I like look back at it, it really is a stunner. And you guys, I mean, obviously there's clamps on the back, but like check out the back of this dress. This is just like, again, going back to sort of the quality, the detailing of these dresses are just spectacular. I mean, it just felt elegant and beautiful and Wait, should this have been my dress? All right, let's move on to the next dress. Oh yes, this dress, oh. Okay, so this dress wasn't in the line of six either. The bride across from me had tried it on, so it was like hanging on her rack. And sure enough, I was blown away by it. This style was so stunning on me. Sorry, I'm gonna like boost myself up, feel myself in this dress. Like the cut though, I was like, oh, that is a good cut that I would have never tried on. Obviously I didn't pick it out, but thank Goodness, the girl across from me did because I quickly learned that this style is good for me. I will say the one thing that didn't work about it for me was the material. It was a little bit too 
thin, I want to say. Basically, I could see the outline of my stomach, and that drives me insane. No matter like what size I am, how bloated, whatever. Even if I'm like having a great day wearing spanks, I could still see like my belly, but I just like, ugh. but like that would just drive me insane in pictures. But the back was gorgeous, the style was the whole thing was everything. And I felt like I was like Golden Globes chic, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted for the wedding. It was also a little bit too formal for the kind of wedding that I'm having. But boy, I loved this dress. From that dress, we got like kind of the information that like that high sort of neck is super flattering on me so i asked if there was anything else that maybe had a little more flair around the stomach but still had that cut and she brought over this dress to try on now morning what you're about to see is me crying so you're welcome um but me also thinking that this was the one like i said yes to this dress um but in the end it's not the one i said yes to because i'm insane and i overthink everything but enjoy me thinking that this is the one that i said yes to oh, wow that's amazing yeah. wait a minute wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, okay. it's stunning yeah. Yeah. This is yeah i feel really pretty oh my god i don't have to wear a bra <laughs> Oh, here we go again. So it was one of those things that right as I put it on, I felt really good in it. And I felt like since the first dress, I hadn't really felt 100% confident in any of the dresses. So I think there was an element of me putting this on and being like, oh yeah, this, this is good. Like this feels right, it feels good on me. Like I'm comfortable with all the pieces. I'm comfortable with the way this lays on me. Like there's nothing I don't like about this dress. And I hadn't really had that feeling since the first dress. And after a while, first of all, you're drinking champagne. It's a complicated process because there's so many like, well, I kind of like this, but I don't like this. And it's just kind of overwhelming and everyone's giving their opinion and everyone has great intentions, but your head starts to kind of spin, at least mine did. And I was kind of exhausted. And needless to say, I put this dress on and I was like, oh my God, this fits perfect. This is the one. And then I started crying, thinking about the fact that I get to marry Jeff and how exciting that was. And then it became all emotional. And then my mom cried and then my cousin cried and it was just like, well, this must be the one. This must be that feeling that you're supposed to be feeling. But in hindsight, I think I maybe was just tired and maybe a little tipsy. I don't know. Look, this dress is beautiful it fit me like a glove she said it was one of those like underrated dresses it wasn't the one that like everyone reached for which like to me i kind of love that love an underdog i put my hair up i took my hair down i didn't love where the top part met the bottom skirt so we went back and we tried it on with the sweet little um band wrap ribbon thing and the minute we did that i was like oh yeah this is great i love the look of this i feel like it enriches it and we really like tried on a bunch of different looks and i was like yes this is the one we got the sign out i mean really the whole shebang it was like that magical moment and then i took a moment and i was like but wait what about that first dress? <laughs> and then I'm sure everyone was really annoyed with me because then I was like, I gotta try that first dress on again. And some other girl was already trying it on. So we had to wait till she finished. And then I put back on the first dress and then I looked in the mirror and I was like, no, this is the one. And then I was like, but wait, I thought that was the one. Wait, is this the one? <sighs> Welcome to my overthinking brain. Needless to say, I got the name and size and everything of both of the dresses, the first and the last dress, so that I could come home and think about it. And everyone was trying to give me advice, um, and I feel like the one thing that I kept hearing was like, just sleep on it, and if there's one dress that you just keep thinking about, then that's probably the dress. And sure enough, the next morning I woke up and I was like, it's that first dress. It's definitely that first dress. And here I am, wondering, is it that first dress? <laughs> But lucky for me, I don't need to decide yet because we might have to postpone our wedding. But that's a video for another day. And also a situation I don't even want to think about because... <sighs> but let's worry about that later. I just want to say thank you, Beholden. This was a wonderful experience. It exceeded my expectations. Sure, I got left confused, but in a way I kind of feel like that's a good thing because there were so many beautiful dresses to choose from. Everyone that worked there was so lovely, so kind, so supportive, and the environment was just fun. They weren't pushy. I've heard like a lot of horror stories about 
um, wedding places like pushing you in and out and trying to like press it on you and make you make a decision and they did none of that and I am super grateful for that experience. So make sure to give them some love over on their social medias. I know that they are probably super struggling right now and super sad because their stores are closed but you can still shop online. They're always doing great sales and they don't just have wedding dresses. They have little white dresses. They have all sorts of party dresses. They have mother of the bride dresses. They have accessories. I mean really they're it's just super their site is just like super fun so head on over there and check it out I've been doing a lot of online window shopping and I gotta say it is a great stress release so have some fun I'll leave the links below in the comments below also let me know which of these dresses were your favorite I know I blurred out the first one because I want to make sure if that is in fact the one that I keep it a secret but besides that let me know out of the rest of the dresses which one you loved and if you see one on their website that I didn't try on that you loved make sure to send me that link. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that I'm doing a good job of keeping you entertained during this crazy time. Just know that I love you, I support you, and I'm cheering you on. Stay at home, stay safe, and I don't know, keep enjoying my wedding content. Hopefully there will be a wedding at the end of this. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.